All right, so you're welcome to the new Supply Review segment on the show. And uh, believe us today, you are the reason we're here as always. So you'll be joining the conversation after the first four papers. Uh, so the lines will be thrown open so we can have uh, an insight, your understanding of what the story is all about, your view in regards to those topical issues that, have, that are big enough to grace the cover pages of the newspapers today. Straight off, let's go to the front page of Daily Trust today. Uh, it leads with a story, ECOWAS rejects Niger Hunter's three-year transition plan. And the riders there, pro-coup protesters, want ECOWAS against military action. Pope calls for peace in the Niger Republic. That's the biggest story on the front page of the Daily Trust today. Uh, you can read it up when you turn to page four of the paper. All right, let's see other stories here today. Uh, above the, below the nameplate, Chernobyl reassigns portfolios, appoints Niger Delta Minister. Benin, Niger, Togo, owe Nigeria 132.2 billion Naira energy bills in four years. And bandits kill five men, kidnap women, rustle animals in Katsina. You also find here Kano, tri Kano Tribunal, stop influencing judges, TMG, cautions politicians. Abandoned day old baby dies in flood. It's a very touching one. And CBN brings back BDCs, introduces new operational mechanism. Uh, which we hear that some of the operators have kicked against. Uh, it's a very big story there. You can turn to page 32 of the paper to really understand what the story is all about. Uh, still talking about Africa, the picture of the day really shows former President, uh, good luck Jonathan, as well as former, uh, okay, also with him, the head, uh, center, Carter Center, EOM, to uh, Zimbabwe, Professor Tahiru Jaga, who also was former INEC chairman at a meeting in Harare, Zimbabwe, uh, on Sunday. The election of the country will hold in, in earnest. We'll keep you abreast of how things go there, right here. All right, quickly, let's go to the front page of The Guardian on Monday, which leads with the story, uh, Seven States in Dire Straits, Economic Losses of a Border Closure. And you can see the picture of uh, the, the, the map of Nigeria, as well as uh, uh, how things are going, and the sanctions against Niger, and the, the map of Niger is on the background there. You can see uh, how things, uh, the, the sanctions against the country is also affecting economic issues around the neighboring states, the states with which it borders with Nigeria. Uh, is a very, um, very, very nice representation of what's going on there. You can get the details of the story when you turn to page six of the paper. Back to the matter, Forex crisis, worry over policy inconsistencies as CBN brings back BDCs. Uh, remember that the Naira was being floated when the president assumed office. It's being floated as we speak. But there are new interventions that CBN is putting in place to ensure that BDC is also in business, while the Naira is also strong. And that's about uh, even after injected $3 billion uh, borrowed, let me put that, <laughs> to reflate the economy. Let's see how that will help our money, um, you know, monetary policy in the country in some days, perhaps weeks to come. Tinubu reshuffles yet to be constituted cabinet, appoints Momo Niger Delta Minister, and also you find tackling rapid urbanization and proliferation of urban slums. It's a very big story here today. Mr. President, no justification for bloated cabinets must be an opinion piece. Oh, you want to go inside the paper, it's on page 16 of The Guardian today. Uh, the bottom strip of the paper has condemnation trails, rowdy distribution, of palliatives in Lagos and tackling that I've said that I've read that already so have you got your own palliative Shagun George you didn't let us know when you got yours John already has his so it's, you haven't gotten yours too okay so who are the people who are enjoying the palliatives if you've ever received anything from government please share with us what it was that you got and how much it's been of help to you so that we can get the um, information out there. All right, quickly, let's go to the front page of Nigeria News Direct today. Uh, Leading with ahead of ministerial inauguration today, Tinubu makes last minute alterations. I want to imagine all the papers today 
will have that story on their cover pages. Nigeria lost 24.9 million barrels of crude oil between January to May 2023. That's according to a report. And they also find our Bonny Island gas plant still operational. Uh, that's credited to one of the most uh, uh, you know, successful, they'll say, uh, government agency in the country, although it's privatized and LNG. Uh, the story is on page 22 of the paper. Now let's talk about issues around the ADLEA. As the body recovers 4.8 billion naira worth of illegal drugs. From where? The details on page 2 of the paper. And uh, let's see just above the name plates. Uh, you find how scavengers divert expired products to market for consumer consumption. That's according to NAFDAQ. Yes, yeah, so uh, we find it very interesting uh, inside pages. You can see um, uh, interesting stories inside the pages of Nigeria News Direct today. Your calls can start to come in as we go straight to the front page of Business Day. Edwin Pate, seven others to define Tinubu's presidency. So why? Uh, these are the guys that are holding the economy uh, in the country from today once they get sworn in by the president. Now, uh, there is a graph here showing Nigeria has highest number of ministers among African pairs. And uh, you can see it ranging from Nigeria, followed by Ghana, Egypt, South Africa, Algeria, Tanzania, Morocco, Algeria, Ethiopia, and Kenya has only 21. That's the way Business Day puts it this morning. And b beside the biggest day, uh, story of the day, Eurobonds pair losses as Naira strengthens to 850 Naira to a dollar. Uh, you also find the rise and rise of um, a very special person in the country, the Niger. Niger plan to cut electricity dependence on Nigeria before sanctions. Okay, <laughs> so why not? You can get the details on page 31 of the paper. Um, Excuse me, the story in the Nigeria Republic goes on and on. Uh, the numbers should be on your screen right now. Let's talk to you and see how uh, it is with you with all the big, big stories on the front pages of the uh, dailies today. Uh, so we await your calls. Uh, let's take a look at this Nigeria. Uh, FCT residents at the Federal Capital Territory residents upbeat speak on present needs as Wiki takes charge. And you, uh, then the biggest story of the day, State of Fear. 23 local government areas battling insecurity in Sakwato, Zamfara. A KB survey. Residents of affected areas have been, either been forced to migrate, enter into agreement with criminals, or live life of uncertainty. That's a very worrisome one. It's on page four of the paper. And now to another story, Falana to DSS. Suspended EFCC chairman's remand order has expired. Release him. Uh, the story is on page five of the paper. An NDLA intercepts fake $20 million on a Abuja bound commercial bus. That's the story on page 23 of the paper. All right, uh, very interesting times. If you ask me, uh, you go on the roads, you see security operatives, and you keep asking them, why are you here? Why are you stressing us? Let's just go. And the next day, you get to hear unbelievable discoveries uh, that they, they had to encounter while uh, you know, trying to keep us safe and secure. So that's the way that one went on, on Sunday, which is now the big news on Monday. All right, quickly, let's take a look at Nigerian Tribune. Uh, uh, Tinubu reshuffles ministers' portfolios as government takes shape. Uh, that's the cover story of the paper. Uh, you see the, the faces of the ministers, ministers designate, whose uh, portfolios were either, you know, swapped or changed or totally announced afresh uh, on Sunday. It will be a very interesting thing to see how things really go on uh, today. All right, uh, let's see uh, other stories uh, here for review today. You find NDLA intercepts fake $20 million. There's also cash on local Abuja highways also there. And that's uh, also the story there. And, and then on the foreign sea, Russia Luna 25 spacecraft crashes into moon. 
Uh, you know, all, I was asking, I was telling someone that, look, <laughs> if you go visit the moon now, I wonder how many things you'll find there. So many things the scientists uh, must have deposited there in the base to bid to really discover more about what's going on uh, in the world. All right, um, let's see other stories. Um, you can see nominations open for 2023 about Femi Awolo leadership uh, prize is also there. Then ECOWAS rejects Niger Hunter's transition plans. Uh, the, 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 the Hunter have already said that, look, we want to do a three-year transition, uh, you know, transitional government and then hand over power to a democratically elected uh, government once we're done. And ECOWAS is not hearing any of that. Uh, they want the Hunter out as soon as possible. More hunger looms as farmers harvest crops prematurely. Inflation bites. Uh, it's also one day. And that's why sometimes, I don't know, if you ever bought fruits or some things around you and they, you could tell that they were harvested well earlier than they should have. Uh, I don't know what's going on at this point in time. That's why uh, NAFDA came out uh, last week to really implore markets, women and men and other stakeholders to stop using uh, some bad chemicals, chemicals, carbides, they, they call this particular one. So ripening, for instance, plantains, and we hear that some other chemicals are used to ripen other food items. And uh, these things will easily, even if you're not a doctor, uh, really uh, you know, cause uh, diseases, so to speak. All right. And here also, uh, we talked about that already. Ada, let's go. Good morning to you. Hello, oh, oh, good morning. It's good Adam. morning. Oh, no, I'm calling from your Um, I want to look at two aspects. That is the headline that talks about Equal Rejects Niger Don't Have Three Years Plan as two weeks to resist attack. Well, my my, my uh, suggestion here is that Equal should just negotiate with them. You will have a shorter uh, term line, so, but they should avoid the invasion. That will not do us any good. Mm. Then having said that, uh, uh, another one I want to look at is the inauguration of the minister today and the expectations of Nigerians. Well, I expect the, the minister of uh, marine and blue economy to open up all the ports in Nigeria by ensuring that they are all functioning to help to get the proper ports. Mm. And so that will also help to build the economy and, and also provide them for employment. Then education. Education is very important. Education is the bedrock of any nation. No nation can rise above its uh, human capital. So the education, uh, education needs of, uh, of, uh, uh, an overhaul. The budgetary allocation for education should increase to at least 20 percent. If we cannot meet the UNESCO 26 percent recommendation, now that we don't have uh, no more square subsidies, so they should try and improve on that. Then again, the Minister of uh, Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy, I expect him to work towards having our own e-digital digital platform rather than continue to depend on foreign digital platforms. It's doable. It's a matter of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, determination. Then that's of skills. Let them try and break these things about the, uh, I mean, uh, as a digital skill. Uh, let, 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 let them try and uh, be frustrated. That will also provide a lot of employment. Then above all, the minister should put uh, national interest above their personal interest. There's no need that they go find where to go and make money. And uh, the president should give them timelines. Anybody that is not functioning well, within six months, they should just fire them. And I okay. also, I, 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 I'm impressed that uh, Tinubu is also listening to us, people, what we are talking about. That's why he's making some last minute, uh, I mean, uh, uh, assignments. Okay. Thank you so much, Ada, for your, I mean, uh, always nice to have you on the show. Keep the calls coming. The number should be on your screen in just a moment. Let's hear from you in uh, regards to how things are going under the president. And uh, as he swears the ministers today, uh, let's see what he will be able to achieve in the shortest uh, possible time. Uh, other very interesting stories are here. Uh, let's take a look at the front page of Daily Sun today. Abuja Gog. As ministers take hold of office, and the riders there to see how it goes. But now let's speak with Uche, who joins us from Abia State. Uche, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, my sister, one of the papers says that uh, ministers uh, will take uh, one, one point 
is it 30 something billion for accommodation? One point something billion for each of the ministers for accommodation. And they are talking to us about Banyeti. They started from 8,000. They went to 10,000 naira. These ministers, we are talking about, many of them are governors, ex governors. Many of them have been ministers before. Their accommodation is taking 1.7 billion. You are telling me Nigeria will survive it. Until the masses wake up, Nigeria will not survive. God bless you, people. Thank you, uh, Uche. I guess that actually was, uh, you know, a feature on how much the, the ministers will have to take as accommodation in the next four years if they stay in office. And it also generated a lot of controversy over the weekend. I guess that's where uh, he is going. We have another call, Okaru from Rivers. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on the program. Good morning. Good morning. I want, yeah, I want to comment on the issue of the ECOWAS rejecting the joint a transition program. The question we have to ask ourselves in Africa is that the Western countries are not the respect of democracy that is sustaining democracy there. Ghana, that is a member of ECOWAS, also had a military intervention that in the system, and now they are experiencing what is actually called democracy. So we should not deceive ourselves that you can impose yourself in government, be corrupt, and the masses will affect you because in the name of democracy. No. We should also learn to sacrifice and practice democracy in the way it's practiced in the West so that... Well, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. The next work, uh, you know, flung trading, but I got uh, your point entirely. So thank you for your contribution on the show. And find your Lumba from Imo State. We thank you for joining us on the program today. Yeah. Good morning. Shem. Good morning to you. Yeah, Chief. If I you so much on Lumba, I'm calling from Olugedegum, you know, Lumba, Imo State. Yes, uh, on a uh, state of fear. 23 local government areas, you know, uh, in Sokoto Zamfara, battling insecurity. Honestly, uh, it's worrisome. And this is why I keep asking. For decades now, terrorists, foreigners, foreign terrorists from outside Nigeria, especially within that Sahel region, have been battling to take control some parts of Nigeria. And nobody has said anything. Where has the ECOWAS been? Is it that the security of Nigeria does not matter to ECOWAS? Is it that the abduction of the school girls, hundreds and thousands of school girls, some are still in captivity? Doesn't matter to ECOWAS. Is it that the occupation of some communities within these uh, local government areas and they will be extending to Benue and Tarabash, Tartus? Is it that it doesn't matter to ECOWAS? It's only when a president is toppled that they will come together to talk about the collective uh, well-being, security, and democracy. What matter of democracy is this? That the security of rights and property do not matter. I want to ask ECOWAS, is it that the security of Nigeria doesn't matter to them? Okay. People are living in fear. Have a present day if you find someone Thank on, 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 on the table. All right, not necessarily a rhetoric question there. Maybe it deserves some answers from stakeholders. Uh, who knows? Keep the calls coming and let's see how things will go this morning. We know the authorities are listening. Uh, and I don't want to imagine that action will be taken where necessary. We're still on the front page of Daily Sun today, uh, which uh, has other very interesting stories besides the name plate. Daily petrol consumption drops to 52 million litres says a federal government. We also find Dakuku Peter's side to speak at Maritime Confab. Ex-agitators, that's the front page of the Sun today. Ex-agitators applaud Sinubu for returning NDDC to presidency. Uh, that's on page 38 of the paper. You also find here, Nigeria Republic, Anglican Archbishop, ex-lawmaker, warned against military action. And CNG flays alleged attempts 
to undermine election tribunal cases through corruption. That's on page 38 of the paper. The paper also uh, talks about the re-deployment um, of uh, yet-to-be-inaugurated ministers designated, as designated, I beg your pardon, uh, to really other ministries. So we're talking about that. It's a big story on the show today. So we'll be talking about that. We hope that you join us then. Uh, bottom strip of the paper, Sheh Hussani mocks El Rufai, calls him... Oh, okay. All right. And that's that's one, one name so so much. All right. Other interesting stories are the AAU dismisses five staff, 21 others undergoing investigation over criminal offenses. Lending $3 billion to CBN connotes Apex Bank's insolvency. That's according to experts. All right. Let's have Kingsley join us from Edo State. Good morning, Kingsley. Yeah, I want to ask this uh, minister, the appointed uh, portfolio for, I don't know how much is this. They are a government workers. What I want to know is that uh, they will tell the government workers they will be, be working from home to work. Why they, they don't say, uh, as the minister, they will start going from their personal home to their work. King Kingsley. Tom Polo has not been given a ministry under this administration. He has had a contract to secure a pipelines across uh, some, you know, set, certain areas in the country. He's not a minister designate. He's not. Everybody to the best of my knowledge. For their own because they are employment. They, they employ them. It's not maybe they will use the Nigeria money to be feeding them. They will use their own personal money to get their own apartment. Okay. All right. Yeah, that is my All right. Thanks for calling on the show. Uh, we have Daniel join us this morning. Good morning to you. Hello, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning. You can speak now. You're on. Apologies. I thought that uh, we lost that uh, connection. Uh, please call us back. We really uh, would like to hear from you on the show today. Please, let's remember that uh, we have to be mindful of our language. We can uh, say what is very important to us as a people. We have the right to express ourselves, but not to insult people or cast a special on anybody's personality. We can talk about issues and let's just see how we can take it up from there. Now, let's take a look at the front page of the Punch newspaper today. Federal government prioritizes economy, security, as ministers take oath today. That's the angle where the Punch newspaper takes the story from. Uh, same story, different angle this morning on the show. You can see the faces of those who should be making things happen uh, once they're sworn in today. And you know I love this. I remember that there, there was an exercise over the weekend to really get them set to, for inauguration today, for swearing in today. Uh, you can see the face of Alaki, you can see the face of Badaru and others there getting set to work for the country, we want to believe. And uh, I want to imagine that once they're sworn in, the clock will start to tick and Nigerians will start to take note of what they're about to do or what they are not about to do, in spite of the fact of uh, pledging to do that uh, in years to come. Uh, let's take a look at the other stories. Farmers abandon farms. 23 Sakwatos and Farakebi local governments and the bandits. Uh, this is a very worrisome story. It's on page 8 of the paper in case you're interested and uh, want to imagine what our security agencies are doing in that regard. Uh, let's see this. NDLA recovers 4.8 billion Nara drugs from wanted billionaires Lagos warehouse. That's on page 4 and 5. Miscreants, traders, take over multi-millionaire Lagos bus stops. Uh, where are we referring to? Turn to pages four and five of the paper to see where that takes us. Uh, above the name plates, I'll be speaking with Mazio Korafa in just a moment. We find Nigeria loses 249 billionaire in July as oil outputs drops. And CBN loan to manufacturers, aviation firms rise to 5.6 trillion naira. You also find Niger, ECOWAS rejects Junta's three-year transition plan. 
That's the cover page of the Punch newspaper today. Quickly, let's go talk to Mazi Okorafo. Good morning to you. Good morning, my sister. Good morning, Nigeria. Well, thank God today is Monday, 20th August. Well, our reflection this morning is by being persistent, you are demonstrating faith. Well, congratulations to Spain for the job well done. I congratulate our female folks so they have tried. This is what we want in the whole world, that females should also be doing at least better than our footballers, although <laughs> we didn't reach that play, but thank God. Now, I'm just calling on the chief of uh, defense, or Kouas. Please listen to what the John has said. Three years transition. Give him that opportunity. Give him that benefit of doubt. Let him see what you got. If you go with force, Israel, threat are also terrorist group within the that's a Niger territory, and they are just you just watch it, which will not be favorable to ECOWAS. The, 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 the just uh, Jonathan says this, that if you come with force, he will kill the president, which is not in short, it will not be healthy for African countries. Now let's leave Niger, come back to our country, Nigeria. Mosquito. Okay. <laughs> Every day we have the same mosquito. Yes, it's the same mosquito, a world mosquito. Now we have research institutes. They have told us that they have vaccine. What are they waiting for? Professor of molecular science, molecular science, we have them here. They have produced what are they waiting to put it in use? NAFDAQ, what are you waiting for? Is it every day you go and say no it's food that they use cap produce mm. and the rest? And yeah, the, thank the, you. the vaccine that's supposed to help us, you don't want to do it. Do it now or never. Good morning, Mazu Craft. Thank you so Queen much. Adam. And that's one story that's not on the cover. I want to imagine to be inside the pages of some of the papers today. It was World Mosquito Day on Sunday. Someone will be like, excuse me, why won't United Nations really celebrate? It's not about celebrating, it's commemorating the fact that mosquitoes still really pose a lot of health danger to us, especially uh, anyone who lives in the tropics would know that uh, you're susceptible to malaria, and malaria, by all standards, kills. So, uh, I mean, this is a very big one also. Thank you for your insight as to uh, regards to the papers uh, today, the stories today, and keep the calls coming. Straight off, let's go to the front page of Vanguard on Monday, uh, which leads to a story on Niger. ECOWAS rejects Hunter's three-year transition plan. Uh, the writers, uh, many, well, let's see, Hunter once against foreign intervention. Talks between ECOWAS and Hunter yield Little results, uh, that's according to official, says deep that divisions exist within presidential guard. Notes major, majority of soldiers at presidential complex will flee if ECOWAS attacks and Pope calls for peace in Kuhit Niger. You can get the story on page five of the paper. And also the picture of the day really buttresses what's going on in Niger. Uh, a supporter of Niger's national uh, Council of Safeguard uh, of the Homeland, CNSP, holds uh, a placard of Niger's new military rule, ruler. And uh, that's the way it was. We also heard that thousands of people queued up to uh, sign up to as volunteers should ECOWAS hit the country. Oh, it's getting to a point that nobody's praying for, especially those of us who live uh, within this area. Uh, but it, it is what it is. We just hope that the right decisions will be taken by all stakeholders. Uh, let's see other stories today. Below the picture of the day, old age poverty is increased as pension coverage stagnates, population rises. Uh, this is a very interesting story. Only 16% of workers have pension protection, less than 5% of entire citizens covered. And analysts call for more creativity in pension products design. That's a very, very interesting story. You can find it inside the paper. Uh, also, energy crisis, cost of solar systems rises 120% from 120% to 550,000 naira as forex inflation worsens. Sheshe uh, Day, traditionalists warn Yoruba monarchs against sacrilege. Uh, that's one story we started with also today on the show. And uh, so one of the uh, very important things that happened on the sports scene on Sunday, Spain 
beat England 1-0 to win Women's World Cup. Uh, that was a spectacular game. Very solid game by all standards. Uh, all right, we'll talk to Solomon in just a moment. Let's see other stories here. Brutally, brutally, Frank, many governors wealthier than their states. That's according to elder statesman Edwin Clark. The stories of page 10 of the papers. It states uh, are much, uh, you know, you, you, like uh, the governors that uh, who served in states are now richer than the states they governed. The question would be, was it before they assumed power, assumed office as governors, or after they left office? I mean, your answers are there in between. Uh, it's another big story here. DLA bust drug warehouse in Lagos recovers 4.8 billion Naira opiates. I also find to know appoints Momo's minister designate to Niger Delta. And that's uh, the way the cover story uh, looks like on the front page of the Vanguard today. So these are stories that uh, have been on the lips of people all through our uh, Sunday. Now they're the biggest ones on the cover pages of our papers today. Let's see. Uh, how ECOWAS will really handle the issue in the gym. Uh We have another call on the line. Solomon, good morning. Thanks for joining us. The question is, uh, what the Niger, Niger are suffering from uh, uh, Niger politicians. It's not up to half of uh, one Nigerian. One Nigerian that voted uh, politician into power are suffering from that made them to take power. So what concern Agbara and overload? Eh? The Nigerian Bolivia does not consider the poverty we are suffering. Eh, look at Nigeria, we lost uh, last as a result of insecurity. Why can't Nigerian politicians consider us and look into our problem? So they are, they are bothering us. They should, they should sorry for us, honestly. We are really suffering. Nothing is coming good from them. So this is my take on Thank you. Uh, well, you can vent here. That's why it's called the People's Parliament. So government, your people are saying that they can't feel what is there. It is. You're giving to them as dividends of democracy. So thanks, uh, Solomon, for that aspect of how you feel as a citizen. I think you're entitled to that. Keep the calls coming today as we take a look at other stories uh, that are of great, great interest to us as the people. All right, so uh, let's see how um, the issue against the fight, uh, the fight against drug abuse and illicit substances in the country is taking a new dimension uh, as we hear that NDLEA is just uncovering all kinds of uh, opiums, all kinds of illicit drugs being, you know, sold, kept in warehouses, um, sold to our young people affecting our society. Somebody will say it's only young people that uh, do drugs. Some elderly people also do. But why import such into the country? What's going on at this point in time? It's, 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 it's a very worrisome one. Uh, let's speak with SK from Lagos. Good morning, SK. Please, your election. Does it mean that the judgment will not be the general? We're not hearing about the election. Hello, SK, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I'm hearing I, you. I can hardly hear you, sir. Can you speak a, a lot more? Okay. Yes. Okay, what I'm saying, the 2023 20, uh, general election, what, does the judgment of 2025, February, to, to, to February, does it mean that the judgment will not be the again or what? We're not hearing anything that's because I need. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe our viewers can. It's muffled up a little bit. Maybe the network, because, I guess. Because I think you, there, there should be a judgment in this August. But August is almost gone. What is going on? All right. Um, please go ahead, sir. Please go on. That's my question. Thank you so much. We appreciate uh, being part of the show today. Uh, keep the calls coming and let's see how things would go uh, today on the show. Let's go to uh, this Nigeria, this story we, we, is very interesting here. And he goes to say that uh, domestic airfare jumps 40% in 12 months. It's one of the big stories on the front page of this Nigeria today, uh, which those who are flying will tell you 
that is certainty around how much you can pay for you to even plan your travel unless you get the tickets well ahead of time it may be very very uh impossible sometimes so things just change okay now from delta state we thank you for being part of the program today can i go on yes okay now you're welcome please go on okay okay my own is my uh, my own is Based on the newspaper review that we are discussed, uh, that are following up on the on the screen. Hello. We can hear you. Please go on. Oh. We can hear you. Okay, okay now. Uh, uh, yeah. oh, uh, one one analysis now talking of EU report that was rejected by, that, that was rejected was rejected by the by the federal government as a sovereign nation, and now uh, and, and now uh, and now the echo was. In the, Echo was in the leader of the Nigerian president, trying, uh, uh, trying to uh, trying to go to Niger. So now that so, so now that they want to go to Niger, is not is Niger is Niger, is Niger not a sovereign nation? Okay, now they ha, now they are trying to decide, they are trying to show the, the, the primary responsibility of the uh, of, of them of, of them as a leader, like as we speak. You cannot travel from uh, Edo State down to Warri because of bad food. As we speak, <coughs> as, as we speak, many of people have parked their vehicles, driven on the street in the name of hardship. As we <coughs> as, as, as we speak, even as we speak, even the government hospitals that are in Warri, the system of everything has gotten changed. People don't even, people, as the people can't even afford. Uh, what God a uh, treatment from the federal uh, from uh, from government hospitals. Okay, you, you can wrap happened? up. Uh, okay, so you don't want government equas to hit Niger. You think that, we have the, more domestic worries than uh, us going to Niger? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank okay, you very okay, much. Hello, 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 hello. Look at okay. Look at okay. You have just ten more people. seconds, sir, because of other people. Please go on. Ten seconds, sir. Okay, now when we talk of insecurity, they are looking. Again, I tell you the word from it now. In the east, as people as in the east, as people are saying insecurity, I want to point out something to uh, to to, uh, to to the Nigeria. No insecurity in the east, but rather 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 political. All right, we we thank you very much, okay, now for your contribution on the show today. We already have uh, standing by Simon from the Federal Capital Territory of Abuja. Good morning, Simon. Good morning. Uh, are, are you there, Simon? Yes. Um, oh, nice to have you on the show. Uh, my name is Simon from Abuja. Yes, uh, what I want to, to say this morning is that uh, I want the ECOWA, the ECOWA chairman is the president of this country. Tinevo. Hmm. They should stop uh, confused of about the Niger issue. The issue where we have for Nigeria is more than Niger. I mean, leave for federal capital territory Abuja here. Abuja, hello. We see one chunk everywhere. Abuja, where we know before, it's not the Abuja where we know now. Mm. Everywhere is dirty. Like we are living in local government. You cannot buy things for market. You buy things today, you go tomorrow, the price change. We are using dollars. Is it dollars? We are printing dollars for Nigeria or we are printing dollars for Africa. What business do we have for dollars for Nigeria? We support to bring the policies that when you are bringing dollars for the country, you have to change it to Nera. We are not supposed to use dollars for Nigeria. But you go to party, you see the press dollar. You go to church, they dash dollar for church. You go to mosque, they give dollar for mosque. If this is not insult, okay, Simon. I will keep it every day. We are communicating every day, dollar, dollar, dollar. If these dollars were used for the country, anybody will enter our country, change your money to uh, change it. Uh, if you come with dollar, change it to nera. Okay, thank you, Simon, for your um, I mean perspective. Thank you. 
uh, for your insight, so to speak, uh, whichever you want to use. All right, let's speak with David. Good morning, Dave. How are you today? Please uh, go on. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. I'm JP Dennis. I'm calling for Benicity. The president should not interfere in the Niger in the Republic. We have many problems that the devil Nigeria. We have incidents, poverty, uh, poverty that the poor remover, subsidy of the remover across Nigeria. It will pay. I don't think what the president should focus on Nigeria issue. He should build refinery if at all refinery is really poor. If uh, refinery did not work, as I expect, the president is to declare a state of emergency on our refinery. No things that were put here to abroad, I bring it back. I told us that Nara is high, so far will not be so high. Nigeria does not want that. Okay. Nigeria rejected policy. Who policy are you going to build Nigeria that way? Who should be used of the poverty which Nigeria are going to? So All that's right. my favorite this moment. All right. Thank you very much for your contribution. Let's speak with Austin who joins us from Lagos. Good morning, Austin. Good morning, Shemu. Good morning, good morning. We're going to go to Nigeria. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, event the call before your president this morning. Mm. But first of all, thank God for life again. I want to mention and contribute about this effort. Nigerian government should know what to do. Because that's where you that a policeman. Policeman for peace. If you don't police yourself, family very well. How do police family uh, are an outsider? This is exactly what Nigerian government has trying to project now. We better let them receive from this plan to create Niger. Because look at their place. Touch your home very well. They mm. have yeah, baptized yourself very well before you went to another person. You come on what is inside his own eyes. Nigeria should be very, very careful. All right, and thank you. Don't thank allow Western world to, to pressurize them to undo with their brothers, Africa. All right. That is me. Thank you, Austin, uh, for your uh, perspective there. Let's quickly take a look at the front page of The Nation as we wrap up this segment uh, on the show today. The Nation leads with the story Tinubu reassigns Oyetola to Marine, Momo to Niger Delta. And says that Alkali Tujojo Lokobiri Echo affected a minor shakeup. Abuja Gog for Minister's induction. That's the cover story of the paper. Now, why bank CEOs were barred from foreign trips will make a very interesting read. And for those who never even knew that they had not been able to they've not been able to go out of the country, maybe that's news totally. And to other stories, banks, broadish operators in talks to boost dollar liquidity. Uh, you also find above the name plate, Labour Bank's 10 system for public sector directors. Uh, inside agenda for ministers also there, uh, so to speak. Let's see, uh, we'll speak to Gina in just a moment. Uh, but there is a picture of the day I think is very interesting. And let's, let's, let's go in on that picture. Let's see what it is about. It's actually um, some Boko Haram fighters with... Um, uh, some members of the families who were able to really uh, surrender to the uh, firepower of the Nigerian military over the weekend. I think that's really uh, making things a lot better for our security, if you ask me. You also find below the, um, okay, bottom strip of the paper, Isheshe Day, adherents cautioned in Kwara, uh, Elegushi Hills Southwest Government. Uh, you also find above the name plates uh, the ECOWAS rejected the JES issue, and um, that's about all there is. Okay, there is a, a strip between the just above the uh, biggest story of the day. NAMA conducts validation flights ahead ICAO audits. That's on page six. Those in the aviation sector really understand all of these technical jargons because it's what they use every day. So keep it coming. We have a call. Before we go on this break, all right. So I uh, want to thank you. I know that your perspectives are there. Chinedu has been standing by. Okay, 
Let's speak with him. Chinedu, good morning. Thanks for joining us on the show. Uh, good morning. I'm Chinedu from the South Africa. I have a story point to make now. One of, one of the points is uh, the drug, they are not doing their job. Anywhere, the drug goes, good at this are That's it, they are not settling well. Look at all the streets now. I want to ask myself a question. Who is going to be the next youth? Look at everywhere now. They are taking drugs, all youth in the street. That one, one drug that used to call Kolo, I've never heard that name before. Where they take it to, the person has started to Kolo that, that moment. But uh, one point again, the government says we should take our bed. We are taking our bed, too, but they are not taking their own. All Look right. at the minister now. I hear some people, and I live it in, inside people now, that even the two billion to do their housing. Tell me why we go to take our bed. Okay. Number one corruption again in this government again. Even if uh, one again, they are only here to be chairman because they are being work. They are only putting in, uh, put in detention. More than 56 days, you see there. No charges, nothing. All right. Tell me how corruption, corruption will stop uh, this Thank country. you very much. We have to go now because of time.